Slow, slow, <laughs> slow, slow, slow. We've got a bunch of stuffed animals. Dude, that's Holy amazing! Holy shit! High five. What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. If you're new to the channel then hi, my name is Nasser and I'm now a final year medical student studying at King's College London. And in today's video I'm going to be doing a self-isolation vlog, well because I am self-isolating. Alexia has been visiting here for a couple of weeks and unfortunately on one of our outings she managed to catch Covid so we've been doing our self-isolation for about 9 days now. So Alexia is still sleeping inside getting some much needed rest. I've come out here with my coffee, my phone and my iPad, check through some emails, browse through my phone, chill and relax a little bit here in the morning until she wakes up. All right, guys, I can't talk about it just yet, but something I'm dealing with in my email is just so exciting. Like, I cannot wait for this to finally happen and come to fruition, but that's for a future video. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So the doorbell just rang. I've actually ordered some very important stuff for my room. I finally ordered some drawer organizers because if you've seen my desk setup video, well then you'll know just how messy all of my drawers are. I mean, it really is an absolute mess and I could definitely use some help organizing these guys. I've also got a couple boxes to help me organize these shelves here. So I'm really looking forward to that because it is very, very needed. Organize this mess. Oh God. Let's get it. Alright, it's not what I thought it was, but it's something else. Alright, not the organizers that I was expecting, but I'll deal with that another day. Let's briefly re-welcome Alexia to the channel. She hasn't been here for a very long time. Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you. How does it feel? Good. Alexia has basically just gone through coronavirus and you're just coming out <laughs> on the other side now. How was yeah, it? It was rough. <laughs> it was rough. How did it compare to like a normal cold, like a normal flu? A lot of the symptoms were the same, but you just feel very, or at least in my experience, mm. I just felt very weak. I'm just like really like knocked out, like for, and for a long time. You know, this is the closest Alexia and I have sat in quite a long time. We've been wearing masks in the room, in the house pretty much this entire week and, and more. She's lost her sense of smell, which has led to- And my sense of taste. And her sense of taste. Like, I've made this beautiful iced tea with sugar, honey, lemon, tea, ice, and I can't even taste it. It tastes like water. I can tell I'm drinking something slightly sweet. I can tell that I was eating something spicy, and I can feel the texture. I just can't taste what it tastes like. I just taste it of, like, paper or something. Like cardboard. Yeah. I've still got my taste. I've still got everything. Touch wood. Um, so yeah, hopefully it stays. So guys, recently it's been incredibly hot and you won't believe what just happened. I just uploaded my perfect desk productivity tour with all of my cables perfectly hidden under the desk. Because it's so hot, the Velcro sticky tape just isn't doing its job and everything is going to start to come off. I hope it stays there. It is actually boiling. And when I say boiling, I mean it is so hot. We've got two fans running currently. We've got this fan here pushing cold air room and another fan over here and honestly it is barely keeping me from just being in a pool of sweat. So Alexia is my interior designer. Every time she comes she like fixes up one or two things in the room and in the house. I'll actually show you guys some interesting things that we got in the kitchen. So in all common spaces in the house we all wear masks because we have Noor of course over there and we want to keep everything as COVID free as possible. But let me show you guys the two really cool things that we got in the kitchen. So first of all is this dish rack, dish drying rack thing. And the very cool thing about it is that it's expandable. So it takes up the perfect size over here. It automatically drains the water into the sink and it has this really customizable cutlery thing. And then next to it, we've got these kitchen boards, kitchen cutting boards. How cool are these? They're all like labeled with fish or meat or vegetables. They're colorful, have a nice little home to live in, double-sided, don't slip. Honestly, a joy to use in the kitchen. I'm just trying to make everything look a little bit more aesthetic, a little bit more homey, and just give it a better vibe in the house. All right, first thing I want to do is film two thumbnails for two upcoming videos. First one I want to film is kind of similar to a previous one I've done in the past where I'm lying down in bed with this top-down shot. I think it looks really good, but the annoying thing is it requires a lot of gear and setup, but I think it's going to be worth it. I'm messing up the bed that I just made. <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm going to need this guy.
told you guys it was a lot of setup. All right, so now I can take you guys and I can fix you to this upside down, then jump to the bed. In order to really sell this thumbnail, we've got a bunch of stuffed animals, most of which I borrowed from my sister. And I think they're gonna really help put this thumbnail together. So the video is called Why I Sleep Seven Hours Every Single Day or something like that. So that's what this thumbnail is for. All right, let's see what those look like on the big screen. All right, looks good. Now time to take all of this back down. Pretty high effort, but I think it was worth it. All right, the next thumbnail is for a video called What I Wish I Knew in My First Year of Medical School. So I think this one will be a lot easier to film, a lot more simple. I've got all of my med school related things on me and a couple of books as well to use as interesting things in the thumbnail. And I've also got a white lab coat. I'm going to try that on as well. All right. That was actually probably good. This is actually a white lab coat that I have from my days doing research at the University of Toronto. First steps are to collect everything that we're gonna need to run the protocols. I also prepare some reagents that I know that I'm gonna need within the next couple of hours so I don't have to make them during the experiment. Back when I was studying there quite some time ago now. Let's do this one more time. All right, and I think that's it. One of those is probably going to be good. I think both those videos will be out by the time you guys see this vlog, so we shouldn't be okay. Go watch them if you haven't seen them already. and <laughs> I'll catch you guys in a bit. Time to whip up some lunch. We're making this zingy salmon with lime and chili noodles. This is actually all from a Gusto box. So Gusto boxes are something that Noor and I have been using for quite some time now to prepare our meals. By the way, I'm not Noor. <laughs> <laughs> this is Alexia. Noor is next door in her room. It's basically this like meal delivery service where they send you all of these ingredients to make specific meals one at a time. So these are all of the meals that we've cooked so far. As you can see, there's quite a lot of them. And the thing is each one is like completely different. Each meal is something totally unique, something totally new that we've like never had before which makes cooking a lot more fun and way more enjoyable tasty etc in the long run all right cue the time lapse The recipe all done. We've got the bean saucy noodles over here, salmon done there, and then for me, a little bit of spicy pepper. All right, guys, it's time for another segment of what is NASA watching in these days. So I just finished a show called The Looming Towers which is about the CIA and the FBI as they gain intelligence and learn about the 9-11 bombings and sort of the failure of communication between them that leads to the, those eventual attacks. And now we are watching The Loudest Voice. So this is about a man called Roger Ailes, I believe. This guy over here, played by Russell Crowe. And it basically tells the story of how he started and grew Fox News. And so what the thinking was behind the creation of Fox News. And then I think it also touches on a lot of sexual allegations that he had. Is that right, Lex? I think so. So that's what we're watching these days. I would highly recommend both. We've been very much enjoying them. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Not to say I've outdone myself, but I think I've outdone myself. <laughs> I think this looks really, really good. Anyways, let's start watching. I can't taste it. <laughs> really? Imagine not being able to taste this. What does it taste like? There's nothing. It's so strange. All right, guys, so we just got the breakdown of feedback for our OSCE exam, for the practical exam. I'm almost certain I scored the top mark in the entire grade. How insane is that? <laughs> Okay, so I scored a 94 according to this graph distribution thing over here. Only one person scored a 94. So that has to be me. Norm, I scored the top mark in my OSCE exam. The top mark. The top mark. No. Let's go. Thank you for this. Let's go. I wish I could hug you. Dude, what? Dude, that's Holy amazing. Holy shit. 
Check it out. I got 100% on one, two, three, four, five out of nine stations. That's crazy. And the rest of them were above 90. One of the worst one was 82. That's crazy. Hold on. I gotta call my mom. Kadud. Hello, Allah. Where are you, Habibti? Hello. I'm in the car with my sister and my sister. We're going to Najwa. Okay. Listen to all of you. I got the first place in the exam that I wrote in the school. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, how are you? Aww, that was so cute. That's insane. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, so it's time for us to do our lateral flow tests. We need to do these every day until we both test negative. I've been testing negative this whole time. Let's see what happens with legs. Pretty sure I've shown this to you guys before, but you've got the cartridge. Here's your own cartridge. Are you also gonna do one? Yeah. Two swabs, test tubes, and the buffer solution. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is blow our nose. Blow, I, I might blow say, your, blow your COVID-ness into mine's this tissue. Honestly good. I don't have anything to blow out. Mine's good. Put your buffer solution into your test tube. You break this open and squeeze out all the fluid. Try not to touch the, the surface of the top. I guess I'm gonna do this for you, yeah? Should we do you first or me first? Me first. All right, guys. Alexia has an intense gag reflex. So this has been a challenge <laughs> every single time. She literally runs away from me with the, with the swab. All right, you ready? Can't wait for the comments. <laughs> This should be good. Okay, I'm gonna hold your head, okay? Tilt your head back. Open wide. I just feel like you're going okay. quickly. We'll go slow, we'll go slow. Slow, slow, <laughs> slow, slow, slow. Very slow, very slow, very slow, very slow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, come back, your nose. Slow, slow, slow. Just twirling, just twirling, <laughs> just twirling, just twirling, just twirling, just twirling. Okay, the other side, come on. You're almost there, you're almost there. Just twirling, just twirling, just twirling, just twirling. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. All right. Every time, every this is good. Honestly, at the beginning, Lex was impossible to to swallow. <laughs> you stir it in here for 10 to 15 seconds, then you squeeze, okay, and pull out the tip. Dispose of the tip immediately in the trash. Close this without touching the tip, and then you put two drops on the cartridge. One, two. Dispose that in the trash. Set a timer for 30 minutes, and we'll interpret that then. All right. Now me should be a lot easier. Genuinely. <coughs> All right, same exact thing, and I'll catch up with you guys in 30 minutes. All right, timer is up. Let's see the results. Nasser, negative. Alexia, negative. Ooh. Woo! All right, guys, so Alexia and I are working on a super exciting but top, top secret, secret. <laughs> project. Super, super top secret. Genuinely, I can't wait to reveal this to you. I can't wait to share it with you. But we need to get it right. So we're gonna take our time, we're gonna make it perfect, and then we're gonna present it to you. I'll give you guys one hint. <laughs> I'm bleeping that out for sure. I'm definitely bleeping that out. <laughs> you cheeky, <laughs> cheeky monkey. <laughs> so when the sun starts to set, the weather out here on the balcony becomes perfect. Honestly, perfect, perfect. amount of breeze. It's really not that warm. So Alexia and I like to sit out here and play some cards have a snack, drink something, and it's a pretty good vibe. Good vibes only. We're gonna be playing a card game that we know as Shithead. Do you know you, it by any other name? Yeah, you guys might know it as the game that Nasser always loses at. <laughs> this is absolutely not true. You guys actually can leave a comment down below saying who you think is about to win the next best of five games. Since you lost yesterday, you can deal. It's only because I have COVID. Mm -hmm. Best of three, okay? No, no, first two, three. That's There's only one right answer. If you didn't pick me, just know you made a mistake. <laughs> one zero, one zero. Zero. First to three. First. One zero, zero. <laughs> if I win, scrub goes. No. no. <laughs> scrub goes. Scrubs first of all. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. If I win, you need to look the camera dead in the eye and say that I'm a better cards player than you. So if, so if I win, scrubs goes. If you win, you can throw scrubs off the balcony. Okay. <laughs> Deal. Oh, one. Oof. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that order. Do you see that I changed the order as well? One more point. It's your time. I was winning the more yesterday. <laughs> and the yeah, day before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two zero. <coughs> Two zero. Not gonna lie, I'm in a bit of a pickle, boys. I'm in a bit of a pickle. Let's go! You're being so annoying. <laughs> I'm being annoying, shithead. 
two one. Let's go. We're back in it, boys. Two one. Two one. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, oh my god. Pick them up. No. No. Down. I took a fat L and Scrubs has to fall off the balcony now. Any last words before you no. kill Scrubs? Nice knowing you. <laughs>